Everybody, it's bright and early on a Monday morning. Yuck. <laughs> but I have four doctor's appointments today. And my first one is at 8.30. As far as that. Excuse me? 8.30. 8.30 in the morning. Who made that appointment? Um, I believe Kevin was with me when we made this appointment, <coughs> so I'm kind of saying Kevin was with me. Stories. And um, that he knew very well what he was getting into when I we married made you. <laughs> no, no. I was not this sick when we got married. <laughs> Sorry, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> So, anyway, we're on our way to our first appointment, which is with the preventative medicine um, doctor, who is the one who diagnosed me with diabetes and is scheduling my gastric bypass. Other than complaining about me scheduling this appointment so early in the morning, do you have anything to say? Bah. <laughs> Do you have any good mornings you would like to say to our our subscribers, our community? Not enough coffee yet. <laughs> I haven't had any coffee. I don't drink coffee. Don't you want to go that way? I want to go that way. That's uh, why you're in the wrong light. <laughs> don't care. And we still got all this construction going on and we're going to go <laughs> over the, the railroad tracks here in a minute. Okay, ready? Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's what it's like going over the railroad tracks with Kevin. <laughs> so here we are at the first doctor's appointment, getting ready to go in. I'm using my wheelchair today because I'm just having some issues, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Here's my chauffeur. Say hello, chauffeur. Hello, chauffeur. We'll get back with you. Hello, everybody. So we just finished with my first doctor's appointment, and the doctor told me not to be too concerned about um, some of the blood work that came back that was really stressing me out. Um, Gee, I wonder who else told you that. So, yes, Kevin told me also not to stress myself out. But it's hard to not stress yourself out when you get results like that and you're not exactly sure what they mean. So it seems to never fail. We are in a rush to get somewhere and this is the traffic we have to deal with. Never fails. This has to be an accident because this, there's no reason for this traffic. Okay, so it is 11.50. We just finished with my second doctor's appointment. I had to meet with the doctor about my pre-op for my shoulder surgery. And I also had to meet with an anesthesiologist to go over the anesthesia for my surgery. And Kevin and I are both hungry. So we're going to grab something to eat. So we decided we're going to take a stop at Wendy's and have a bite to eat here before we head over to my next doctor's appointment. Busy, busy, busy. Yay. Since he wouldn't take me to Red Lobster. Will not. <laughs> Freckles is doing his daily back rub. Right, Freckles? <laughs> Red blues, blah, 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 see the tail moving. How are you doing? <sighs> Playing catch up. Yeah, well, that's what you get for running off with the family. 
hey, my aunt and uncle wanted to spend the afternoon with me. <laughs> what are you grunting about, Freckles? Sleeping. With his eyes open? Yes. Okay, everybody, it's 10 after 2, and we are off again. My next appointment is in Corona at 2.40. So we are heading to Kaiser Corona right now. Yes, Corona, Kaiser. We got to pick up my meds there, too. Meds. Yes. And we have two appointments there. Mm -hmm. Back to back right now. Oh, I got an eyelash that's freaking me out. No freaking out. You're driving. I'm having a feeling of deja vu. We have all been here before. We have all been here before. What song is that? Deja vu? Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely day we had. And you got a hepatitis B shot. Oh yes, I forgot about And I got a hepatitis B shot right here and Kevin keeps poking me in it. That's right. <laughs> not, ni not nice, Kevin. <laughs> hey, sorry. And we got to get up early tomorrow. Ah. But it's for your boomer. Okay. <laughs> When's your appointment on Wednesday? Uh, I don't think my appointment on Wednesday is until the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> I just have to drum, drop, you, drop you off, don't I? No, that's Tuesday night. Oh. That's Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. So what's Wednesday? Wednesday is my psych appointment with Dr. Hackett. Oh. Okay. I got, I got too many things going on. You do? Yeah. I do. And it's and it's cutting into my beauty sleep. Yes, we all know how much beauty sleep you need. <laughs> so, couscous, sweet peas, garbanzo beans, and cod. How is this? Couscous, garbanzo beans, and sweet peas. Good. Okay. And it's something else besides cod. Did you get a piece of each? I just got whatever was left up there. I think you got all cod. Oh, okay. You want to taste the swai? I'm having couscous, sweet peas, garbanzo beans, and I have swahi, which I want which Kevin one to is taste. Swahi? It's that's all I have. Oh. Tastes the same to me. Tastes like cod. Yeah. So, good dinner? Yep. For a throw together dinner? Oh, yeah, they're the best. Hello, everybody. She's back. I'm back. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out. Okay, we got a lot of welcome to the neighborhoods. RFS Dan. Welcome to the neighborhood. Bella Luna. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mario Casano Cisneros. Cisneros Toth. Welcome to the neighborhood. Kira Van Kira Van Hoos. Kiara Van Hoos. Welcome to the neighborhood. It's noisy out here. Raul Fernandez. Welcome to the neighborhood. Allison Fox. Welcome to the neighborhood. Charlene Saunders. Welcome to the neighborhood. Jesse. Is that a number at the That's end? a one two one. Jesse Lou one twenty one. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Springtrap Animatronic changed your name, so welcome to the neighborhood under your new name. Custom Pie, welcome to the neighborhood. We 
would like to wish a very special couple a happy anniversary. Bill and Terry Johnson, happy anniversary to the two of you. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Keep going. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. <laughs> happy, 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 happy anniversary. Hope you guys have a great anniversary. What movie was that from? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, and then... I wasn't here yesterday to do um, the BAM! What is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? Did I scare you again? No, oh dear. <laughs> I don't hear loud noises um, in my bed. <laughs> A lot of people said the first thing they would think about when they wake up is having to go tinkle. <laughs> um, a lot of people say they think about, oh, I wish that wasn't the right time that the clock is wrong. I wish I didn't have to go to school. Work. Work. I have to get up and, and make breakfast and take care of the kids. Very good thing to think about. Take my wife to the doctor. <laughs> yes, I had to make him get up very early to take early. me to four doctor's appointments today. Um, and But the, the best one I, I had, and I don't know whether to believe it or not, is the spasmodic. He didn't know. He, he wakes up thinking, which one of my 6,000 6, ceramic pigs urgently needs dusting first? I don't believe it. You never know with the spaz. Come on. You know? So, there you go. And then my question um, uh, yesterday was... Uh, what is one of you... Oh, well, first of all, what is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? Bam! The alarm clock went off. <laughs> Bam! I fell out of bed. <laughs> I, I would have to say that I wake up like 42 times in the night at the tinkle. So it's not like I w that's the first thing in my mind. It's that it wakes me up. <laughs> There's my answer. Um, the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning is... BAM! <laughs> is, oh boy, what is today going to hold for me? <laughs> but no, usually it's the same thing. First thing I think of is, okay, I got to get up, I got to go tinkle, and then I got to take my medications. First thing she usually says is, let me sleep five more minutes. <laughs> five more minutes. Okay, and then my question yesterday that I sent in to Kevin, it was um, your earliest memory. What can you remember as your earliest memory? And we had a lot of good answers to this one, but I'm going to have to say my very favorite is Charlene Saunders camping in an old school bus that her father painted and converted into a camper. That is something that I would truly, truly love to do. But I would paint it all like hippie style with flowers and peace signs and everything all over it. So, because I'm a total hippie chick. So, but that would be my very first one. Uh, my, ver my very favorite one. And then Trans Am Girl came in second with uh, playing with the radio. She would turn it up. Her mother would turn it down. But she loved the Beatles. She was only three years old, and she loved the Beatles. So she would turn it up every time she would hear a Beatles song, and her mother would turn it down. And she remembers fighting with her mother over that. So, uh... It's yeah. the Beatles! Yeah. What was, what is your very first memory? Oh, it's a very first memory had to do with driving from Philadelphia to uh, California. I was two and a half, three years old, and um, the family was uh, staying at hotels along the way and one night uh, I, w I woke up and I didn't know where I was because a cat had jumped on the screen in the window and I'm I'd waking up and what the heck is that <laughs> and my mom says just a cat go back to sleep that's what I remember my very first memory I don't know if it was a memory or what my mother tells me it never happened I remember being, I was like four or five years old, I remember being very, very sick with a very high fever. And my mother chopped an onion in half. So they were still round on the edges. And she put 
onions on the bottom of my feet and socks to hold the onions on. And because that's supposed to draw out the fever. Makes your feet smell. And I remember laying on the couch and I, I picture the house that we were living in. I picture that house. And I remember having to get up to go to the bathroom and trying to walk on these rounded onions. And my mother swears to me that never happened. She never put onions on her feet. She's never even heard of that. Nothing. But I relive that memory vividly. Your feet still smell like onions. They <laughs> do not. <laughs> so, today's question is, tell us a story about one of your scars. Uh, uh, uh. If you have scars. If you don't have any scars, what should they tell us? Why, why they shouldn't have a scar. <laughs> why are you too safe? <laughs> So, it is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! It's ow, 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 ow! Everybody loved yesterday's question. <laughs> Everybody answered Everybody this. loved gremlins, apparently. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the question was, what were the three uh, rules of owning a Mogwai? And, uh, no bright lights, do not get them wet, and never, ever, ever feed them after midnight. And we had 11 people answer this question. I'm used to the same three or four. But we have number one was Bambi S, number two was Emily Vaughn, three was Daryl Roper answer the question, four John Harrison, five Tanya Longley, six Greg Myers, seven The Buckstock, uh, number eight Terry Johnson, number nine Allison Fox, number 10, Susie here, and number 11, Andrew Lucas Light. Yay, we got some new players in on that one. So now I know what our kind of questions you know, like all the, the, the poofy, cute little critter movies I see. So tonight's question is about Halloween, the, the original franchise. What was Mike Myers' middle name? That's not poofy, cute little creatures. Critters, I just said that's what they want to hear. They say I was going to give it to them. So there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. Thank you all for. What, what am I? No, you are all. <laughs> I take a night off and I lose it. I'm sorry. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff that we have going on. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, yeah.